It is just, you know, an emotional roller coaster. It's a nightmare she's unable to wake up from. Laura Calderwood can't look anywhere in her hometown of Brooklyn, Iowa, without seeing her daughter Molly's face on a missing person poster. It's a reality check every time I see one of those posters also, you know, it's like she's gone. 20 year old Molly Tibbetts vanished nearly two weeks ago. Her mom immediately knew something bad must have happened. I knew something was terribly wrong. She wouldn't not go to work. Tuesday, investigators held their first news conference on the case. We can't tell you why Molly's missing. Revealing they followed up on 200 leads, but are still stumped. Molly's family is just as confused and has gone over every scenario. My greatest fear is that we wouldn't find her. Um, but I can't go there right now. Calderwood says Molly was seen out on a jog around 7.30 p.m. on July 18th. To the best of my knowledge, I believe she did make it home from the run and um, was in Dalton's home. The family says evidence shows Tibbetts was doing homework on her computer after her jog that night. Authorities won't confirm or deny that, saying they don't want to reveal too much. This is one of her senior pictures, which this is actually my favorite one. Photos of Molly fill her mom's house in Brooklyn, the same house where she was supposed to have dinner with her family the night she vanished. She has so many people that love her, and that's what I don't understand, who would want to hurt Molly or any of the members of our family. Still so many questions about how, why, and where. But one thing is clear, Molly's mom is determined to find her. First night she went missing, I was, you know, I was, I was distraught. And I knew her phone was dead, but I sent her a text anyway, saying, you know, I love you, we're looking for you, and we'll find you no matter what.